Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is very, very inspired by the fact that it was just my birthday on the weekend. So I wanted to give myself a little bit of a makeover and become a true, true birthday girl. So if you want to know how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So to start this out, I started out with a bare face except for my eyeliner done. For a nice peel off base coat, you're going to want to come in with some liquid latex, just kidding, but you do need some liquid latex, but first, make sure to block down your brows any way you can, or just make sure to really, really avoid them all together, otherwise you're going to give yourself a little bit of a waxing job. And then putting my hair up strictly to avoid any malfunctions, malfunctions? Words. Just to avoid anything going into liquid latex. Working with the liquid latex itself, you're going to want to use a disposable sponge because you don't want to ruin any of your makeup brushes and liquid latex will ruin all of your makeup brushes. Just take my word on that, you don't want to find out the hard way. So I'm just going to apply some liquid latex with that disposable sponge we were just talking about all over my forehead in the area that I'm actually going to be putting the prosthetic on. And once you've got the size of the base that you want, you're just going to want to dry it just a little bit, not fully obviously, but just enough so it actually becomes a little bit of an adhesive. And then I'm just coming in with birthday candles. Literally bought these from like the dollar store, and you're also going to want some cotton rounds. You really don't need more than one, and I just took that apart and it got a little dusty so I had to blow that away. But you're just going to put a little bit of a cotton round onto your forehead. Just enough to make a little nook for your candle to go in. A liquid latex and cotton round candle holder if you will. <laughs> Then once you've got all that down, just add a little bit more liquid latex and start blending the edges into your face. You can definitely use a tool for this, but I prefer my hands because obviously you can feel it a lot better if you're using your hands versus a tool. You're going to want to manipulate this quite a bit. You're going to want a smooth transition, which is pretty difficult with liquid latex and cotton. But just do your best and you're good to go. And then once I was done with one, I just followed the same exact steps and did the other two. And then once you've gotten all of them down that you want to add, you're just going to wait for the liquid latex to dry. You can totally use a blow dryer if you'd like as well to actually help out with the drying process. And then once it has fully, fully dried, as you can see, you're going to take some SFX gelatin, which you can either buy online or make yourself. I will put the recipe I use in the description box down below. And this is honestly the most perfect thing you can use for this kind of look because you are going to use it in all of its glory, which is basically just a completely drippy mess. And you can use whatever tool you'd like to use, except for brushes. I would not use brushes. Then coming in with Mehron's Paradise Paint, which is a water-activated paint. I'm just coming in with the color Dark Blue and using some water to obviously activate it. Then I'm just going to be painting around the already dry SFX gelatin around the blue candle. And then I just continue it with all the different colors by Mehron. This is their Waterworks palette, which is a bunch of colors. I'm taking the green out of this one and then the yellow out of it as well for the last one. At first I didn't have the complete plan of what I wanted to do with this, but I did want to paint it a little bit down from the actual candles itself to make it look obviously like it's melting. But then I decided to even draw it down a little bit further to make it so it seems like not only the candle is melting, but I'm melting with the candle. Because that is a true hardcore birthday girl. <laughs> and then next, no SFX look will be complete without some blood. This is Mehron's stage blood, which is a pretty thick blood, and I'm just dripping this all over until it becomes a pretty bloody mess. <laughs> then I'm just coming in with a pretty coarse texture sponge, strictly for the texture of it. And I'm just going to be dabbing the blood to make it almost look like it's sprayed. And that is it for the SFX portion of this look. I did want to add a little bling bling into it because it is my birthday and I am the birthday girl. And so I just added that and then I was done with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next one.